Sura 1, I, the Aradia, am both male and female, both positive and negative, and I have created all that there is in my image. Sura 2, when one is first born, there are two spirits within you. One is called the soul and the other the spirit. One is positive and one is negative. If you go through life in a positive way, the spirits merge as one and shall come unto me. But if you are negative, you will live in mental torment, thus not knowing who you are. One is called the soul and the other the spirit. One is positive and one is negative. Surah 3. If a human is born female, their male spirit is negative. If a human is born male, then their female spirit is negative. Surah 4. Everything that I have created has been done by numbers. The first number is me. The second number is my creation. The third number is two spirits in one flesh. The fourth number is four directions. The fifth number is the number of man. The sixth number is positive and negative force. The seventh number is for the sun. The eighth number is for life. The ninth number is for perfection. The tenth number is for the earth. The eleventh number is for the animals. The twelfth number is for all spirits, and the thirteenth number is for Hod. Surah 5. By the numbers I thought, each one in order by what I thought. Surah 6. My abode is called Akka, for it is the perfect place, never changing. If you live in my abode, you can think thoughts as I do, and so it will become. There are three levels in my abode. The first is my house, which is more vast than all of the cosmos. The second level is my garden, which has been reserved for my saints. The third level is the outer kingdom, which is Summerland, where one waits for their rebirth. Surah 7. If one does not reach AKA, they will be in Hod, which is the kingdom of darkness, ruled by the children of Hod. In Hod, there is pain and suffering, torment without end. I am not in Hod, and those that are there will never see me, for they shall be like blind people. Hod is an ugly place created by negative men. Surah 8. These that become beasts and create the beast by their negativeness shall go on to Hod. Surah 9. Humans have the power to create devils, and only humans can destroy these devils. Humans can also place one devil in charge of all the other devils and name them what you wish, and they will then exist. The devils will even have great powers for which you have given them. Those that do not believe in these devils will not be affected by them. Surah 10. I have not created devils, for I made all things good. Only you have the right to create devils. Surah 11. If one gives up all they have to the poor and serve people for all their days, they shall become saints in the spirits. Surah 12. Those spirits that have never left AKA since I created them are divine spirits, for they serve mankind and guide them. Surah 13. If you live by the teachings of this book, you are doing AXA, for it is the way to total enlightenment. Surah 14. Many will hear these things and will not believe them to be so, but when they see them work for them, they will believe. Surah 15. One must see to believe. Surah 16. By what one sees, one has faith, for faith without works is dead. Surah 17. There will be those who will say, What does Aradia look like? Say to these, I look like you, for I am you and you are me. I created you in my image, and by your image, I am also created. Surah 18. There will be those who will want to hear my voice. To these say, Call my name and I will hear you and speak to you. Surah 19. If you wish to be guided by me, I will give you dreams, and by their meaning you will know what to do and what the future has in store for you. Surah 20. When you dream, you are in another dimension, and your dreams are real, even more real than your awakening state. Surah 21. What you now see is an illusion, for only you can prove of what you see. Do you perceive what others see? Do you see through their eyes? When you have turned away and do not see, can you prove that you ever saw it? If you look back again and see it once again, is it not really your own illusion? Surah 22. In dreams there is no time nor space, and with me there is no time or space. For with time or space things become an illusion. Dreams are therefore real. Surah 23. If you think of something that you have never heard of or have seen, then it becomes created in another dimension, and it will thus become real. Surah 24. There are many dimensions, and in each there are different kinds of creation. Many new thoughts come into your mind from these dimensions. If you believe that you just thought something for the first time, the thought for which your thought came from is a different dimension. All the dimensions run together and occupy the same space and place. If you use the teachings from this book, you can see and go to all these dimensions at will whenever you desire, aka is a dimension also as well as Had. Surah 25. There will be those who will ask, how large is Aradia? 
To those say, I am larger than all the cosmos and all of space. If you were to travel across my right hand, it would take you a hundred trillion times a hundred trillion faster than the speed of light. Yet I can see the tiniest organism, as I have created all and can thus see all my creation at once. Surah 26, there will be those who will ask, who created Aradia? To these I say, first there was the void which fell upon itself, and from its fall it created energy. From this energy was created intelligence. From this intelligence became the thought, the all one thought. The thought was one thought. It knew not who or what it was. The thought remained as one thought form, and from it emerged another thought. It knew it was alone. From this second thought grew a third thought. It thought to come out of the darkness, and there was light. It thought of other forms, and there were the stars, and the planets, and the air, the water, the plants, the animals, the birds, the fishes, and the humans. Surah 27. There will be those who will ask, does Aradia go on creating new things all of the time? To these say, I shall continue creating more things, more beautiful, more perfect, and shall create without end. Surah 28, there shall be those that ask, Why does Aradia have a name? To these I say, Aradia is and does not need a name, but man does not know who Aradia is, and so the thought which is the creator gave itself a name so that man could call on it. Aradia means the thought. Surah 29, there will be those that will ask, is Aradia and God the same? To these I say, Aradia is the one perfect thought. From this one perfect thought, all of creation sprang which became God. For all there is, is God. If all there is was not so, there would be no God. For God is all. The thought is the thought. Surah 30. There will be those that will ask, Are there people on other planets? To these I say, I have created many planets and placed many different kinds of people on each. Some are quite different than the humans of Earth. Many are like the humans of Earth. I have spaced them far apart from each other, that they should not find each other and cause negativity upon each other. Some planets are many times larger than the Earth. Some are smaller, some the same size. Some of the beings have three eyes, some four, some have pink skin, some red, some green, some black, some white, some blue. Some have no hair and some have hair all over. Some have four arms, some are large and some are small. Some are more intelligent than the people of Earth. Some are sub-intelligent. Some live on cold planets, some on hot, many like Earth. I created different planets to see which of all my creation lives more closely to me. End times. Surah 31. There will be those who ask, will creatures ever visit each other? To these I say, a time will come when the more advanced creatures will wonder if there is life on other planets and will build machines to travel to distant planets, and they will be successful. At first, they will fear and misunderstand each other, but they will come to trust each other and live in peace. But there will always be those who will mistrust each other and trouble will arise, and there will be wars and much suffering. There will be planets that the humans will destroy, and they will have to leave and find new planets in which to live on. This very earth came to be inhabited in the beginning by humans of another world, for which they destroyed through neglect. A time will come when the inhabitants of this earth must leave this planet, for they will destroy it with a fire greater than a million suns and louder than a million thunder. Claps, and rain shall fall from the sky that shall burn everything upon the earth, and there shall be no hiding place except deep in the earth, where man must go to live for many years, for if he walks upon the earth, he will die. In this time, man will build machines to take him to distant planets, and he will travel many lifetimes through the void to reach these far distant planets. Some will not make it. People will know that this time is at hand by the signs. Carriages will move without horses or any beast of burden. People will fly in the belly of birds that will roar like lions, spit fire and fly faster than the wind. Ships will move on the water without sail. A great beast of iron will run down a ladder of iron and carry many carriages behind it. Humans will be able to talk to each other anywhere in the world without moving. Images will be seen inside of a box from a great distance. Houses will reach the clouds. People will move underwater in the belly of a great beast. Beast will rule nations. There will be great wars fought, nation against nation using great iron beasts that belch fire and that will roar like a lion. Fire and death will go forth from a stick that man can carry and will slay many. Music and laughter will be heard coming forth from a box. Images will appear on a wall as from nowhere. Machines will speak and think. There will be five great nations and beast ruling them. From one of these nations will be the greatest beast of all. His name will have the number 666. 
Beware of this beast, for he shall set forth to destroy all of mankind and shall be the anti-god. For by his name you shall know him. He will at first be loved by all, but then the humans will learn the truth, and they shall not be released, even then by his grasp. From this nation which sits the beast, the ground shall tremble, the mountains shall spew fire, the rivers shall overflow, the wind shall go mad. The seasons shall be confused, and the people shall not get along. This great nation creator shall destroy because it shall become imperfect, and creator will take it away, and then destroy the other nations. There will be certain places, amongst certain people, where humans will be safe. Those that follow the teachings of this book, I will show them these places and these people. Surah 32. There will be those who will ask, How will they know this great beast by his name, and will the beast be a man? To these I say, your very names are numbers, and from one of the beasts his name will be six unto six, and this beast will be a man, but become a beast, because he will cause much suffering to the very poor, and to the very nation itself. He will become despised by the very, very poor and to the very nation itself. He will become despised by the very people who placed him upon his throne. Know his name and you shall know his number. Surah 33. There will come a time when an iron beast shall crawl under the ground at a great speed, faster than the wind. And there shall be iron beasts that crawl beneath the sea. Machines will walk, will talk and think. When men become ill or a part of them becomes affected by illness or injury, these parts will be replaced with man-made parts. Wonders of men in these days will not cease until he sets out to destroy his own existence. Surah 34. There will be those that shall ask, Who are the Amurians? To these I say, The Amurians are descendants of Yohad from one's own kinsmen. The Amurians went out from the land of Aden toward the land of Lakotokia in the north and built the great city of Chotezutl. There they flourished for many generations. There were Amorians who set sail across the great Apaluchai Sea. They discovered new lands where no man had walked yet. These lands were above the whole of Lemuria and north of another smaller sea, which is now known as the Lati Sea. Most of the Amorians stayed in Amorialand and settled in tribes. The Amorians are the highest form of the human people. There are few Amorians living on the earth now, and a day will come when there is less than a hundred in the whole of the earth. When that day comes, all will know of the signs that the end is near. Murder will become commonplace. The homes of the positive will no longer be safe, and strangers will steal from the homes of the poor and will beat them and kill them. The end will draw near. The earth will shake and the stars will fall from the sky. The mountains will spew fire and clouds of darkness upon the whole of the earth. Lands will fall into the sea. The wind will destroy great cities. Many shall die. But they who hold fast to the teachings of this book shall escape the wrath that nature shall rain down upon the earth. Surah 35. There will in those days be great religions that shall sweep the earth and enslave all its followers, and those which do not follow after it, it will tempt to destroy. These religions will follow after masters, and they will say these masters are God, or the sons of God. By this you will know them. They shall nest in a bed of lies, and negativeness shall pour forth from their mouths. But from the followers of this book shall rise up an army to conquer them and do away with them. Surah 36. The followers of this book shall be Haitians, which are the knowledgeable people of the Creator. Surah 37. And the Hidians will be cast by the wayside by the beasts who follow after the anti-god. The Hidians shall hold fast and shall conquer the followers of the beast religion. Surah 38. Of one of the beast religions, they shall wear black and speak in a tongue no one can understand, and will say they follow after the God of their holy book. But they lie, and fate will destroy them. Surah 39. Keep in the way of these words, and you shall prevail against your enemies, which spit, even upon me, for they are the hell-bound, hitantes, which is the people who go against me. Surah 40. There are only two kinds of human people, the Hidians and the Hittantes. The Hidians sit on my right and the Hittantes sit on my left. Surah 41. There will come a time when the Hidians have to band together with Hittantes to drive away other Hittantes that will try to destroy my creation. Surah 42. The man that follows the teachings from this book I will exalt, and he will sit upon my right hand. Surah 43. To those that are positive in all thought and all action, I say this to you. Every luxury and desire will be yours for the asking. Gifts. Surah 44, I have given you many colors that you use them wisely to care for your bodies and your life. I give you red, which is the color of love and power. I gave you white, which is purity. I gave you blue, which is for water, rain, and all males. I gave you pink, which is for all females, babies, and good health. 
I gave you black, which is for the expelling of your enemies and works of destruction. I gave you violet, which is for mysteries, hidden things, and sweet smells. I gave you brown, which is for protection against illness and harmony of the earth. I gave you orange, which takes away pains and suffering. I gave you yellow, which attracts riches and brings on cheerfulness. I gave you silver, which protects you against evil forces. I gave you gold, which attracts positive energy and wealth. If you wear garments and jewels of those colors, they will work for you, as these colors, which are energies, have great power. Surah 45, I give you signs in the clouds, in the sands, in the waters, in the sky, in the forest, in the grasses that you will know of your future. Surah 46, I have created all in an instant, but you will think that there are things yet to come. When you prophesy things of the future, you only see what has already been done. As your power is working for you, you can only see what has already happened, for I made it happen eons ago. What you see as future is past, for there is neither future nor past, only present. Present remains for this instant forever, for with existence there is no time, there is only now. Surah 47 Whatever you do beyond your natural senses is the AXA, creative power which I implanted into each human before their birth. And by exercising this AXA power, you will get whatever you want. If you use this power unwisely, it will take away from you everything you have gained, and truth will turn from you. I will show you wonders and teach you how to use your power, but you must use it wisely for it to serve you well. This is the end of Book 2. Please like and subscribe.